from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt in the ABC 10 News studio. County health officials announced Tuesday a second San Diegan has died from coronavirus. The person who died was in their 70s. They also confirmed 242 cases of COVID-19 in the county, an increase of 12 from Monday. And for the first time, two infants have tested positive for COVID-19. Nearly 6,000 San Diegans have been laid off during the coronavirus crisis. Workers in the food industry are the most at risk. One restaurant owner in City Heights says sales are down 75 percent and he's had to cut his employee hours. The San Diego Workforce Partnership estimates that 350,000 workers may lose their jobs. The agency is helping people connect with new jobs. The San Diego City Council will be voting on a temporary eviction moratorium on Wednesday. If the council votes in favor of the moratorium, tenants will have up to six months to pay any unpaid rent. Residents won't have to worry about late fees either. The council is also considering setting up a small business relief fund to support local businesses affected by the pandemic. 10 News meteorologist Angelica Campos is joining us now looking at uh, tomorrow's weather from her house. Hi, Angelica. Hi, Kim. Yes, it's going to start cooling down as a storm system moves into the area. Temperatures will average right around 63 degrees off the coast and 62 degrees inland. As a storm moves in Wednesday night, a winter weather advisory will be going into effect. They'll pinpoint how much rain is on the way.